Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kentucky with uh, for public safety as he attempts to uh, file a complaint on what he considers corrupt officials. But you know how this guy is. He's stupid enough to get himself trapped inside of an elevator, and he ended up trying to barge into a secure area at a police station here recently, and, well, he ended up getting himself booted out. Well, at any rate, he starts some more issues with the uh, investigators at this office because he won't give out his last name so they can start an investigation into his accusations. Well, dude, I would say if you're truly serious about getting the, these investigations started, maybe you should give them the, your last name. That way something can get done at least because it is not a violation of your Fourth Amendment to give out your last name to an investigator. That way they can actually get in contact with you and let you know what's going on. Because you know how many Chris's or Steve's or Sarah's there are running around? You at least need a last name to at least identify who the hell you are. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today, we are at the Office of Attorney General Public Corruption Unit building. It's actually all the Attorney General's uh, administrative offices all in this building. So what we're doing here today is we're reporting the corruption that we know about at the Louisville Metro Police Division and uh, after all of the things that we've been through. So that's what we're doing here and wish us luck. See you in a minute. Many, many minutes later. Oh, it feels good out here though, in this, in this room. Guys, it's well over 100 out there with the heat index. It's like uh, 97 today or something like that. Thankfully, we're in a building where they let you in the AC this time. So, <laughs> no heat strokes today. Perhaps you shouldn't have forced your wife to wait for an over an hour in a hot vehicle anyway during the summertime. That's on you. That's not on the police officers. That is most certainly on you. I just noticed Daniel Cameron's picture on the wall right there. Well, he really did a number on that Breonna Taylor case, didn't he? Yeah, Real you, bad. You can call it a number. Hopefully he'll start trying to make up for it, but I don't have high hopes for that. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, what are you? I'm Jeff Fall. What's your name? Sir? I'm Chris. Chris nice Chris, to meet Chris you. Chris Walker. Uh, and this is Tiffany. What's your last name? Uh, don't give that until well, after we've no, spoken. No, we don't do that. I'm what do you mean you don't do I, that? If we want to talk, I want to know who I'm talking to. Well, no. Uh, can I have your home address and then I'll tell you my last name? What kind of question is that, doofus? He, I mean, he's not going to give you his home address, of course. Not in this day and age of frauditors like Direct D giving out that information on the internet because he's so pissed off about getting caught by the police. Not to mention, it's not exactly a violation of the Fourth Amendment to uh, give your last name to this officer so he can conduct an investigation into your claims. I mean, if you really cared about that incident that led to your wife getting her back broken because of those officers, then you would give your last name to get the investigation started. But no, you want to act like a complete jackass anyway. So, which leads me to believe that you don't care about your wife's back being broken. In fact, you really don't care about your wife at all. I understand that you are the abusive type. You just want to milk this for every single solitary dime that you can possibly get. Because you can get my home address with my last name. And we're not going to do home. that. If you want to talk, let's talk. I have had that happen, which is why I'm here. Have a good day. Sir, no, no, don't do that to us. Don't do that to us. No, because... 
Don't do that to you, us, man. I'm here trying to report. Do you think because of this, that's oh, not the problem? I want to. I gave you my name. I gave you my first and last name. Yeah, but I don't have the resources to find out where you live or your phone number or, or harass you and contact you at home or ruin your career. We've been harassed. So you're so concerned about those resources that you mentioned that you don't want even to take advantage of the fact that they can use those resources to help you out. I mean, that's what they're there for, to help you out with the investigation that you want, but you don't really want them to find out anything about you, but they've got to know something about you to get the ball rolling. Otherwise, they can't do shit about it. Do you not see the paradox here? Do you not see it? It's happened to us, which is why we're here, bud. I'm not laughing. You look like you're laughing. What is your position? And I'm telling you, it's not funny. It is very serious. And you need to stop being so demanding about last names because it is our right to either disclose it or not disclose it. Fourth Amendment. You need to do your job right now. Sir. Both of you are incredibly stupid. The Fourth Amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures. They're not trying to search you. They're not trying to seize anything from you. You can't have your name stolen from you. It is your identity. It is who you are. It is not something tangible they can take away from you. If you would just give them your last name, they can get the ball rolling. How hard is that to understand? But of course, what can I expect from somebody who locked themselves in an elevator because he didn't understand that it required a key card access? I mean, my goodness. And I'm telling you that we are bringing important matters to you. You don't have a right to demand our last name, and you do have a requirement to fulfill the duties of your position. And we are wanting to provide you with this information. We hope that you'll actually follow through with your duties, which is your job, which is what you are in your contract to do. And it's the same agency that you all completely fell flat on your fucking faces for the last time around with Breonna Taylor. And if you don't want to resolve the situation, then that's the problem We're in the state. We're done. We're done. We're not good, done because good. it's us. We have a good day. No, sir. What? what is, are you it's, an investigator? Yes or no? It's not directly related to Breonna Taylor. It, it might be because the way he's but, acting, you sound like somebody might, might have caused that. But what it is, is it's things that we have experienced that's a problem. Do you realize, It's currently happening now. You all have a good day. Give realize, me somebody else. Do you realize, Give me somebody else. Hang on. Do you realize that officers locked us out of a public building? And we assaulted had me employees. twice in a week. We no, dude. You assaulted them. In fact, at the last meeting you had, you rushed at the uh, chief of police to gain entry into a restricted area. That's not them, dude. That's you. That's you doing all this. You put your foot in the door to try to barge your way into a secure area, and they pushed you back. That is the whole incident. Quit lying your damn ass off, and maybe you get something done instead of acting like a damn giant man, baby, because you can't get anything accomplished because, well, they don't want to listen to somebody who acts like a damn child. We had to wait to do a complaint. Sitting I've been outside. assaulted twice in one week by LMPD was borderline heat stroke. I did have heat exhaustion and had to be transported to the emergency room. And that was your own damn fault for sitting in a hot vehicle for over an hour. That's what you get. How is that acceptable? And how are you going to sit there and have a smirk look on your face? You have a good day. Stop trying to do this. All right. Have a good day. No, we're not. We drove an hour and a half to get here. You are one piece of shit as far as an investigator. No, 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 no. Don't you dare walk away. You're under a... We need a different... This guy's a piece of shit. You're the fucking reason that this stuff's going wrong. Have a good day. You do not treat the public this way. Do you understand me? Well, maybe if you act like a damn adult, maybe you get a better response out of people. I mean, it's always worked for me. We need somebody different, guys. We need somebody that's actually going to help us. We need an investigator, please. We need an investigator. Can you? Are you an investigator? Okay, thank you. You need to get rid of this guy. Come here and help me. Come tell him what you told us. Take a step back. Come in here. Come in here and tell him what you told us. Don't. You don't. Thank you, guys. Help, please. You don't. We We're here back. because there's been we have been victim of crime from LMPD, Louisville Metro Police Department. Your you, facial you are expressions are going to be all over YouTube. You are going to become infamous. I'm not going to stop you from secure. I will not go through there. I'm asking for We're your help and, and yours. Your 
I'm asking for help. But we need someone I need to help. fulfill their contractual agreement. We need help, and this man job. denied us that because I wouldn't give him my last name. That's he, Tell him the truth. Tell him what just you, happened. Well, we're not going there. You, yeah, you, we're not you said because I wouldn't give you my last name that you weren't going to help me, he and you says, tried to leave, and now you're still trying to leave, and I need help. Because he knows he's in the wrong. I need That's help, guys. That's why we're not going there. We need help. We know exactly what is required of each person within their positions, and he is an epic failure. We when you hear somebody say something like that, I can guarantee you that they don't know a damn thing about those positions because, well, they're not in the business. These guys are the professionals. They're not. You don't know what's going on here. You don't know how their job operates. You've got to actually experience it to know it. Need someone who can do their job and wants to do their job. And we, we have to proof. With them today. We drove an hour and a half to be here. We have tried to call. No one has returned our calls. We have tried to also call. And no one has answered the phone. We we put, we're putting our questions. lives on the line. We're putting our safety on the line to come here to help you guys. That's what I'm here for. And you are one smug this piece of shit. You need to go. He needs Are you? Not. Are any you of you investing in Oh, you're going to yell at me? Go. Yes, sir. No, I'm the one that was mistreated. You, you, no. Turn to him. You're using Who are you? I'm a sworn officer just like he is. Okay, sworn officer of what? Of the Attorney General's office. Okay, sworn officer of the Attorney General's office. And you don't and know that I have a right of free speech? And there lies one of the other catch-22s of freedom of speech. You still have the freedom of your speech, but you still have to deal with the consequences of your words. You can't t exactly take back anything you say. And if you act like a jackass, you're going to get the appropriate response no matter what. So you still got to craft your words to get what you want. And if you're not getting what you want, you're not doing the right job with people. You're not exactly a uh, man who knows how to get things done, quite obviously, because you don't know how to talk to people. And judging by this video right here, that is very much on display right here, that you are a poor people person. You have a right of free speech. But yes. You do not have a right to stand here. The Supreme Courts have decided that my, my profanity is not your problem. Laws. You need to go learn you, your laws. I'm upset really for a good reason. My life was in valid. danger. And I smell alcohol. My, I smell the alcohol. fuck you do? You don't alcohol. smell alcohol, you lying piece of I smell I on you, you, man. No, you I don't. Yeah, I do. I smell I smell dope. Well, alcohol on their breath would uh, explain a great deal about their attitude issues. I mean, I've seen how some drunk people are, and they can be uh, just as belligerent as these two idiots right here. I mean, completely unreasonable. Go away. You no, go man, you all. You look, this is why Breonna Taylor got killed and nobody gave a shit. Right here, guys. If you calm down. Yes. Get these two away. Turn your cameras off. Because these two okay. are terrible We're listening. people. I will talk to you. You will? We just want somebody who's professional and will take our report and actually do their job and follow their process. And I'm scared to death after the interaction I just had with this man and that one, too. People You're a piece of shit. Hurt. Fuck you. Don't look at me like that. Turn your cameras well, you off. Don't look at do. me like that. Turn your cameras off. Don't look at me like you turn that. Turn your cameras the off. I will talk to you. Now I'm scared to. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Well, then I tell you because you, you realize uh, I had a cop break my back. Yeah. Okay. Right. Her he spine. Break my back for no reason. Nobody oh, whatever. Break their back. But it already happened. It already I happened. I honestly have PTSD, and unless I have my camera, it puts me into an emotional meltdown. You guys do not want that on your plate. I'm keeping my camera going, okay? If you don't want something published, what we're talking about, we'll respect that because we need to get this report done. But you can you two back the fuck off and let us talk to him? To you don't get out of here. Down. Stop looking at me like that, dude. If you don't look at calm him, down. you're a bad person. You, they you're escalated. Person. You two you escalated. Two are bad people. Yeah. You're this guy, I, this guy, I'm appreciating. You two, get the fuck out of my face. If you, wanna, if you don't want to turn your cameras off, you can send us something in writing, and we'll take a look at it. Have I can't put my name before? to it because one what of the things I'm going to report is they found my house. We're the police that I'm trying to report on, the one that assaulted me last week, he found my house. He's been calling my personal cell phone trying to find me. Have you talked to the FBI, the Justice? Department? I have one spoken to one investigator from the FBI. But I'm not going to divulge any more information. However, he did tell me that this was the appropriate place to be and that I shouldn't expect to be treated the way you're doing it. So let me make sure I understand. You've talked to an FBI agent. Correct. In Jefferson County. I didn't say in Jefferson County. About but it, a police officer down there that assaulted you? Yes, I have spoken to the FBI. here. 
He said, this is the appropriate measures. We spoke with an individual. He, said, he asked me if I've spoken FBI with the Kentucky. jurisdiction over this. He asked me if I've spoken okay. to the, the Kentucky Department. Attorney General's office. Okay. Well, i tell you what you need to do. Send all this to me in writing and come down back and we'll make an appointment and we'll talk calmly without cameras and we'll get to the bottom of this. I just don't want these two around. These two need to be gone. I will people. talk to you personally. Talk Can we you. get your personal email? Because I don't want it going to either of these guys. Yep. Greg, you, write you got, you want me to? So write it down. You need to get rid of these two guys, man. All you, we're trying to do stupid. is keep people from getting hurt. Quit. Like, piece of shit. we don't want people to get hurt. We don't want quit people talk. to get hurt. You're kill. supposed to be dealing with victims. Do you know how to treat a victim? If you don't quit talking like this, I'm not going to Well, you, look at his face. Look what he's doing. Behind your back, he's over here going, can you say projection? Because this doesn't exactly look like the face of a troublemaker to me. I mean, that's like the pot calling the kettle black here. You're the one who's the troublemaker around here. They're squinting. They're yeah, I mean, what are you, three? Very unprofessional. It's very unprofessional. And yes, we do get loud sometimes, but we have to get loud to find people who will listen. Yeah. Well, I'm listening. Thank you. And I will listen if we can do it in a professional. We can, as long as we don't deal with people like these two. <clears throat> Greg, G-R-E-G. -E K-Y What's your name, Green Shirt? <clears throat> What's Green Shirt's um, name? Is that Wolf? I'm going to do a complaint on you. Okay. What was your name again? Greg Wolf. <clears throat> I'm going to do a complaint on you. What's your name? I have First Amendment to redress. You can't stop me from doing it. What's your name? I got it on film. Just tell me. Knock yourself out. Well, knock yourself out. You knock yourself out. We would have much rather You're the one who needs it. You send, me, you send it directly to me, and I'm the commissioner of the Department of Criminal Investigation. Thank so you. Hey, right, look, to you, I respect that. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, we it. Appreciate this, you this, guy, very much. this is not what you're doing today. It's not. We called already. Call. Nobody's responded. We called and we I've called multiple times. Nobody's responded well, to any of my messages. That, but we'll, we'll get something set up. Okay. And, and I drove here an hour and a half because of that. And I'm I worried about the citizens in Louisville. Okay. And that's what this is about. Okay. And I also have a report to do on Kentucky State Police officers, but okay. we'll save that for All a different. I don't think it's quite as severe. Send me your stuff and we'll get together. Okay. Thank you, Thank you sir. Right. Appreciate it. Get right. rid of this jackass and the one in the green shirt. All right. It'd be smart. I don't know what you might you might have more enough enough. You might have better you cases. Want, you might you get your cases hey, done right. You want an we'll we'll you put that on there as well. Well, you know that I have a right to do that though because of what he just no, did to me. Just, he tried to send this out, man. Sir, we understand. Because I didn't want to give my fourth don't amendment like up. The language a lot of times. But at the same time it's still We didn't give him language. I didn't give him language. It was because I thought if you want me to help you. I know, but I'm just telling you we to me also, and my people respectfully, if you we, want our help. Tell that to them. We did not and you got start a deal. using any type of profanity. Until what happened? We were, he tried to violate And I'm box. not going to argue anymore. You've I'm not but you need to know what happened. What happened here that caused that was this man came out. He demanded my last name immediately. And I was, I was, held, I was, I was hesitant to give it to him due to the circumstances in which I've already, what I'm doing the report for, right? Because right. I told you I've been being harassed. So he said, if you're not going to do that, I'm leaving. And he started walking away. And I was like, please, please, please don't do that. And he said, if you're not going to give me your last name, you ain't getting no help. And then he started trying to leave again. Send me your stuff and move. Uh, that was a bit of a suspicious jump cut right there. I wonder what happened. Okay. Next week. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah. See how it works? Come close. Let's go to the stage right here. So, uh, that was the staff that is responsible for investigating police corruption. That's what you just witnessed. That was the staff. So if, if that one guy's even telling the truth, which I doubt, I think he's just really good at deescalating and he's going to try to find out where we live, who we are, what we're doing. He's going to get our evidence. He's going to fuck it all up and he's going to cover for the cops because it's exactly what they did in the Breonna Taylor case. And that, you know what? I am just going to end it right here because I'm tired of hearing this guy talk because that guy actually came in and de-escalated the situation a situation that chris himself started because he didn't want to give up his last name because well he wanted to be a smart ass about it and well 
That was the result right there. And he got his confrontation that he was looking for. And he still wants to act like a complete asshole outside. You know, well, dude, if you can't get any satisfaction in this case that you're trying to get done, then why are you still trying to pursue it? Because nothing is going to get done because you don't trust anybody with it, apparently. So if you are not going to want any investigations taken care of, then why even bother doing it because if you think it's going to be screwed up why don't you just quit while you're ahead and just move on with your life instead of acting like a complete jackass and uh, wasting everybody's time on this issue so put up or shut up douchebag well at any rate guys I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one